Well, folks, here's a video I didn't expect to be making so soon. It's about my main computer and the bedside computer. And, yes, I'm changing stuff around again. Not because I feel like it this time, but because of uh, money issues. And because of that, I'm going to have to sell the i7 out of this board, which is kind of painful and very disappointing to me. Because this is the last month that I was making payments to my friend on this chip, and my friend gave me a good deal on this chip. So I feel really bad, actually, letting this go, because I feel like I've let him down a little bit and kind of ruined my plans for the next couple of years. But <clears throat> you know what? It was either this or lose my investment in the consoles that I just bought. So I chose this because I can, I can live without it. It's not going to completely impede my... Uh, you know, enjoyment of my computer. So, <clears throat> I'm selling the i7 out of this board. I'm going to keep the motherboard because I love this board. It, it's just one of the most stable boards <clears throat> I've ever had. And, you know, I might use it in the future. I don't know. But uh, the board, the CPU in the board is going to go along with a graphics card. Um, I'm going to keep the 750 Ti in the closet. Uh, but I'm going to sell probably the 550 Ti since that's just been sitting around. And I'm not going to be using this board in my main rig anymore. And instead, it's going to be the APU board out of my bedside computer. This is this Gigabyte F2A 85X D3H. It's been a very stable board in the bedside computer. Uh, I've been extremely happy with it. And it's actually a bit of a blessing in disguise. <clears throat> because this you can see this board only has six SATA ports. Well, the APU board has eight. And I had been hoping to get a board with 8 in it so I could add an SSD to this setup later on. And that's exactly what that board will enable me to do. And that makes me very happy. So, it's kind of a trade-off. Uh, this is going to be my new main computer, that APU board. <clears throat> Once uh, I'm done copying files off of the bedside computer, I'm going to stick this board in here. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to use the onboard graphics on the APU uh, since this graphics card proved to make it have a fit so I'm just gonna use the onboard graphics and considering I don't really game on my PC all that hard anymore it's not gonna be such a big deal to have an APU graphics setup in there uh, it's really not gonna matter much because I don't push it that hard I do a lot more retro gaming when I do modern gaming so it's really not gonna matter all that much to me uh, so you know there you have it it's a bit of a trade-off and, uh, you know, there you go. I, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i be able to live with it just fine because the APU board is the newest board I have. It has faster RAM speeds. It has more SATA ports. It's an extremely stable board, one of the most stable AMD boards I've ever used. Um, you know, it'll work. And it's stuff I have on hand already, and that's why I'm doing it, because it's cheap and it's, and it's modern enough to work fine. So going to stabilize my money situation and at the same time upgrade certain parts of my setup but downgrade in other parts as well so you know trade-offs man trade-offs so let's get this board in here alright I got the board swapped out from the uh, bedside computer case so let's just go over what's in the machine this is the board we have in here now we have in here now the gigabyte GAF2A85XD3H, one of the most stable motherboards I've ever had. Um, it has an AMD A10-6700 APU in the FM2 socket. This is not an FM2 Plus board, but the performance difference between the two is really not all that much anyway. I have 16 gigs of DDR3-1600. Uh, I have a FireWire card and a USB 2.0 card down there. I have five hard drives. Uh, which re reminds me, this is why I want to start spending money on storage rather than computers, because having five hard drives is excessive. One of these is a two terabyte. I need a couple more two terabytes so I can eliminate some of the one terabytes from this setup, because it's just too much. <laughs> Up here we have the PC Power and Cooling 750 Watt Mark III. This is one amazing uh, G, uh, PSU. I wish they still. Uh, I wish they still made these. Too bad OCZ went out of business. They owned PC Power and Cooling, 
And let me tell you, this is one heavy duty power supply. I love these things. Uh, on the APU, I have a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus. These are the, some of the cheapest and most effective coolers you can buy. They're pretty high quality. And there you go. So I've gained some motherboard functionality out of this trade off. I trade off CPU performance and GPU performance for eight SATA ports down there. You see there's six right there and then there's two over here. Uh, there's an actual heat sink on the MOSFETs, which I really like. Uh, the board is black, which is beautiful, as always. And uh, the RAM speed is back up to where it should be, about 1600. This board can go above that, but 1600 is what I have, so that's what I'm going to be using. And uh, yeah, I've gained some motherboard functionality while uh, uh, trading off CPU and GPU functionality. I would put the 750Ti in here if it agreed with the board, but it doesn't. So that's okay, though. You know, I can I can live with the APU because, like I said, I don't really push my computer all that hard. Uh, so this is the new main computer setup. So hopefully, I won't have to touch this for another couple of years. Now that I've had to uh, make some sacrifices, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna try to keep my main computer exactly how it is until DDR4 is affordable and a thing. So that's about two, three years from now, I think. So hopefully I can keep this going that long without having to change things around again. I, this is one video I really ha was hoping I didn't have to make. So, you know. Hey, life is what it is, though. You know, you just got to take it as it comes sometimes. But hey, I have a computer, you know. I'll just be thankful that I even have a computer. So... This will do pretty well for me, I think. Did my old board have USB 3? I don't believe it did. So, this board does have USB 3. That will be nice to use. It has, uh, has a couple USB 3s there on the back, so that'll be nice for my USB 3 flash drive and things like that. It has pretty good onboard audio array there. It has uh, HDMI, GGA, and DVI, and it has PS2, so... I've added on a bunch of USB ports with a card, and I've added on Firewire ports with a card, so there you go. Notice there's no graphics card. Isn't that weird? <laughs> but that's the nature of APUs for you. So I like APUs. I think I'll be okay with this setup. So my main computer will be an APU setup, which is what I actually planned to do for my uh, for the next build when DDR4 is a thing. Uh, I, I actually planned to build an APU setup, so I guess this is just premature planning uh, that I'm using an old APU setup as a main computer, at least until uh, that happens. So, kind of cool. I'm a big, big fan of these APUs, so I'm I'm not terribly disappointed that I'm getting rid of the i7, but I am at the same time. You know, it's you know it's one of those. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know the drill. I'm just going to get Windows installed. Of course, the next part of the video will be deciding what to put into this bedside computer. Uh, so, you know, I'll go over the hardware once I figure it out. Okay, I figured out what I'm going to do with the bedside computer. That is getting the board out of my workshop computer. So this is some huge, like, switcheroo thing. And uh, now my bedside computer is going to have this motherboard in it. The GA61M S2PV. This has been sitting downstairs virtually unused as my workshop computer for a while, so I'm going to use this as uh, the bedside computer. It has a Core i3-2105 in it with Intel HD Graphics 3000 and 8 gigabytes of RAM. It's nice as it has VGA on the back still, which is exactly what I need for the monitor next to my bed, so that'll be nice. And uh, yeah, pretty basic system. 8 gigs of RAM, Core i3, HD Graphics 3000, that... TP-Link wireless card, the one terabyte hard drive, and uh, yeah, DVD drive, and that's really it. And the uh, workshop computer is going to be getting a Core 2 quad motherboard, which I'll show later on in the video as well. By later on in the video, I mean about five seconds later. Here is the workshop PC now. It's in that uh, gigabyte uh, case that uh, Max Arcade turned me on to so much uh, with those with these nice vents and the light up here. I like that light up there. <laughs> uh, 
And in this case, I have a uh, a Core 2 Quan, a Q6600, 2.4 gigahertz chip, 8 gigs of DDR2-800 because that's what's been in this board for a long time, so what's the point of moving it? Uh, <clears throat> a 9500 GT graphics card. Since there's no onboard video, I have to use a graphics card on this. And that's the uh, that one seemed to fit the bill the best. Uh, I have an IDE card an IDE card in this machine which might be unnecessary because there is IDE on the motherboard now. Below that I have a, a SCSI card. I think it's an ultra SCSI card if I remember right. Uh, I used this to back up the hard drive from the power computing. Uh, this board is full ATX, has a bunch of PCI slots. This was my main computer at one time uh, and it was a fantastic machine. Uh, I have a drive down here. I forget what drive that is. I forget how big it is anyway. It might be a 500 gig. Uh, and the drive on top is my 2 terabyte Toshiba drive. I'm using that for storing backups and things like that. Let's say I have to image a hard drive. Uh, the hard drive images will be stored on this Toshiba drive there. So I could use the DD command in Linux and all that stuff and be on that drive. So that is the uh, uh, the workshop, the new workshop machine. Core 2 Quad should be perfectly fine in the workshop. Uh, and it should last me quite a while since, you know, the only thing I push hard in the workshop is the I.O. So there you have it. That's the workshop PC. Uh, it really hasn't changed much. Windows 7 and Linux on that machine, on this machine, and uh, there you go, done. Okay, now that I have Windows installed and I've been using this for a couple days, uh, I got back to normal fairly quickly. Here's an overview of the system. It's Windows 7 uh, with an, the AMD A10 6700 APU with uh, Radeon graphics on it, 3.7 gigahertz, 16 gigs of RAM. I dedicated like 2 gigs to the graphics out of my RAM. 64 bit obviously and uh, there you go the uh, the, cat, the Windows Experience Index ratings are right there the CPU gets a 7.3 the RAM gets a 7.3 the graphics get a 6.8 on both which is pretty nice and of course the hard drive gets a 5.9 because every hard drive gets a 5.9 so you know it's really it's a good system um, I've, I've been using this for the past two days and it hasn't felt any different than using the i7 uh, at all really uh, Gra gaming has been fine, uh, graphics performance has been fine, you know, I haven't really uh, found any uh, bottlenecks other than possibly exporting a video like I'm going to do now, but even that should be just fine. So yeah, I have no qualms at all switching to this APU setup, I'm very happy with it. Uh, this is actually a much better, I like this motherboard better <laughs> than the one that was in here before, so this is actually a much nicer setup, I like this a lot. So hope I'll be ho so hopefully I'll be keeping this for a few years without upgrading, or uh, tinkering or anything like that, because uh, I just don't feel the need to. Uh, I've got better things to do. So you know, there you have it. APU setup is what I'm gonna be holding on to for quite a while, I think. So there you go. As a main computer, I'm extremely happy with it. Uh, hasn't felt any different than using the i7 uh, which is really nice so very happy with the APU setup. I definitely recommend APUs all the way uh, they're AMD's future and they're, a and they're what AMD does best right now so I can wholeheartedly recommend it as uh, having one as a main machine now so cool stuff I'll show you the bedside now here we are at the bedside computer and what I have on this machine is Windows 8.1 Apple One Pro, actually, and of course there's the Core i3-2105 with Intel HD Graphics 3000. That's what the 05 at the end of that 2100 is, uh, signifies. 3.1 gigahertz, 8 gigs of RAM. I dedicated about a gig of RAM to the uh, onboard graphics. And of course it's 64-bit. I used this computer last night to watch some YouTube videos and to sign into... Uh, I actually I logged into Second Life to sort of stress the graphics out a little bit. Oh, for the Intel video and the Intel video graphics this is HT3000 mind you actually performed very well um, it only really hiccuped in crowded areas when it hit OpenGL pretty hard I'm very impressed 
with the onboard Intel graphics. They've gotten way better since, um, you know, the G41 chipsets and things like that. And even since the first generation i-series. This is Sandy Bridge. HD 3000 can still live up to my standards for a bedside computer. I don't need to put a graphics card in here. That I find very impressive. So this, this whole thing of uh, graphics being included on the CPU I think is a great thing because not only do you have a, a nice backup if your graphics card dies or something like that, but um, often enough you don't have to buy a graphics card because the performance is good enough and that's definitely the case with the bedside computer so that's pretty cool. I've also switched start menu programs. I now use start menu 8 by IOBit because it's free and uh, it doesn't give me any of that activation crap that um, start 8 did. So I switched to start menu 8 which overall I'm liking as well on Windows 8. Hopefully when Windows 9 comes out I won't have to use start menu programs just to feel at home on Windows. Windows 8 that is. So you know there you have it. Some people have asked me, well, why not use a laptop as your bedside computer? And I used to, actually. Uh, I, used, I used my old 2009 MacBook Pro as my bedside computer for a while. Uh, but it, I never really was satisfied with it. Um, I like the ability to slant these, this keyboard sideways, slant this monitor sideways, the whole thing sideways. And when you do that with a laptop, it, it, it hangs off more than this keyboard does. And I don't like that. And not only that... Oftentimes, on this particular nightstand, uh, a laptop takes up more space. Now, keep in mind, I was using a 17-inch laptop at the time, so of course it took up more space. But generally, I just like the ability to uh, choose my own components. Uh, having a trackball next to the bed is fantastic. Having this very small keyboard next to the bed is also fantastic. And having a fairly big monitor is fantastic. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room, as you can see. So... A laptop would take up more room than this. So it actually takes up less room to use a monitor, keyboard, and mouse on uh, the nightstand and having a computer down there. So that's most of the reason I do that. I figured I'd answer that question since I had the opportunity. And this is the computer itself, and it's a Rosewill Blackbone case. There you have it. So that has been a bunch of switcheroos of my computers. Uh, that i7 is going to get sold. Uh, the 550 Ti I'm going to try to sell as well uh, so I can uh, get my uh, financial situation all straightened out. Uh, and by doing that it will, it will be straightened out, no questions asked, which is really nice. So <clears throat> sometimes life hits you hard but you get little blessings in disguise along the way like the fact that I actually got a much better motherboard on my main computer now uh, because of this whole deal. So, you know, there you go. Overall, I'm happy with this switch. Uh, I like the APU setup a lot. I like the i3 setup next to my bed a lot. <clears throat> it's generally, generally, I feel more comfortable. I really like it now. Uh, it's just, it's really nice. I really like it a lot. So, and I'm not just saying that because I have because I have no choice but but to like these. I kind of do, but at the same time, I actually genuinely really like the APUs. Uh, it's really proven itself now that I actually have to use it as a main machine. It's really proven itself awesome, and the i3 has as well with its onboard graphics and everything. I didn't expect the amount of performance out of that uh, that it that it gives. So that's fantastic. Overall, this has been a bit of a blessing in disguise. I think so. Cool computer stuff. I like it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So, have a good one everybody. Ciao.